Explain them what is the reticulum and uh, explain who is Venereli. <laughs> uh, I, I is Venereli. Oh, I am from the beginning. Uh, right, the reticulum is to do with the situationalist movement. Um, and uh, the uh, Duruti is a, a guy, a Spanish guy in the Spanish Civil War who was an anarchist, a left-wing anarchist fighting the fascists and he was shot and the situationalists have adopted his name as part of their movement and um, the whole punk movement, um, Malcolm McLaren's ideas and, and everything are all based on the situationalist movement so we decided that um, a very appropriate name would be to use the Dorothy, Dorothy's name because uh, it's to do with that, you know, punk was to do with anarchy and destroying um, a bad system, starting a new one. So that's why we used uh, Dorothy Cullen. I am Vinnie Riley, uh, just, uh, just uh, an ordinary guy, that's all. And, um, and classical guitar or whatever. Um, so the music can I uh, sing a little bit. So it's just um, it's just naturally me. I'm not I'm not trying to be anything. I'm just being natural, expressing myself. That's all. Very simply. <laughs> explain, explain the beginning when when Dirty Column was bound and uh, when you play when you play yes like a bang punk or. Oh, yeah. Like a crazy music, and when when after you decide to to play only with guitars and propose to Tony Wilson, yeah. Um, well, um, the Dorothy Column. I used to be in a when punk first started. I was in a punk band, and uh, Tony Wilson from Factory Records um, wor works for the television uh, in England, and he met me, uh, I was on his, his television show in the punk band and I met him and spoke with him um, and then when my punk band split up, I, you know, I split the punk band up because I realised that punk um, had done its job and we had to, um, we had to pro progress from punk and do something constructive so I split the, the punk band up but I, I have a, an illness Uh, depression, like anorexia, and um, to do with depression. So um, I got very ill, and Tony Wilson um, came round to see me very, uh, very many times, and asked me to uh, to play uh, and to, to keep playing music, and uh, and he wanted to form Factory Records and uh, and to open a club. Uh, which to do avant-garde or interesting new wave music, which was something which was original, and he had all the same ideas as I did, that uh, music was very corrupt, the music business is corrupt. Uh, I, I suppose it is in most countries, but in England I know it's corrupt. Um, so we decided we'd fight the system and we wanted to form a band. So we formed uh, a band with... Uh, four other musicians and I uh, wrote the songs and the music um, but then the other people in the band uh, were very because it was very fashionable you know we were Tony Wilson's band and everything so they were into uh, being stars and uh, ego trips and things like that and not really contributing much to the music so I got very depressed again and split that band up and just sat at home playing uh, little tunes on my guitar, little pieces. So Tony called the pieces that you're making up on your guitar. Um, I had a drum machine and uh, I always have made up little tunes and pieces. So we went into the studio and uh, Martin, Martin Hammett just rang the doorbell and said, come on, the studio is booked. Uh, you have to come and record now. So I went and sat there, and Martin played with his machines and made these machines 
synthesizers and sequences made these bird sounds, these was the birds. Um, so uh, I was sit sitting in a chair for two hours feeling very depressed and then these bird noises started. So I um, started to play uh, a track which we call Sketch for Summer. Um, um, and uh, I just played it. So the sketch for summer is, is actually the second time I ever actually played it. I just played it straight through, made it up, and it, it just it just made it wrote itself. Um, it's the only way I can explain it. All, all the tracks seem to write themselves. All the pieces. I don't seem to um, to think about them or anything. They just they just seem to come. So we spent two sessions, we just had two, two sessions when I just sat down quietly and uh, played maybe 20 or 30 little pieces of music. Then I went away and uh, forgot about it all. Um, in fact, I went on holiday with my girlfriend and um, when I came back, um, they'd made it into a record. <laughs> they'd chosen some tracks and made a record which became the return of the Durotti column, and um, to my immense surprise, it, it's, it made me some money and wages and made me a living. So I wasn't on the dole anymore. So uh, I, I found myself a professional musician. It's just very natural. Well, the new album I've done is called L LC, and um, I recorded it with. Um, probably the best drummer in England, he's called Bruce Mitchell and he plays normally with a group called uh, Los Albertos y Los Chers Paranoias who are a theatre comedy group and uh, he's, he's uh, quite old, <laughs> he's an old man and he's been playing for a long long time and he's brilliant and uh, when he agreed to play with me I was very surprised so th we never rehearse ever, we just um, do gigs. I just, I just play the new tune, new song, and he immediately plays the right things for it. Uh, and we made the record, Elsie, in uh, three sessions. And most of it was uh, very spontaneous. Um, uh, all the all the piano parts were done. Uh, their first takes, the first attempts at any kind of playing the piano to the parts of the pieces.